Hello everyone, I hope you've had a lovely weekend. We're going to start this week by starting a story that we're going to try and learn. And this week's story is The Three Little Pigs. Now if you've got a copy of The Three Little Pigs at home, it doesn't have to be this exact one, but if you've got one at home that'll be really helpful. Because what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and memorise the story of The Three Little Pigs act it out ourselves, tell it ourselves, get really, really good at telling it, so that next week we can start making some changes to this story to make it about something else. The Three Little Pigs. There were once three little pigs named Horace, Boris and Percy, who lived together in a teeny tiny cottage in the forest. One day Mummy Pig said, you're all too big to live here, so you must go and build houses of your own. But beware of the big bad wolf. Take care. Make sure that your houses are safe and strong. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? chuckled Horace. Not me, giggled, per giggled Boris. And so the three little pigs set off. Before long, they reached a large field. I'll build my house right here, out of straw, Horace cheered. Straw? Are you sure? asked Percy. Oh yes, Horace. I'm oh, sorry. Oh yes, Horace said. Then it's playtime for me. And with a pat, pat, pat and a hip, hip, hey, Horace built a house of straw. Soon after... Boris and Percy reached the edge of the woods. Oh, I'll build my house right here out of sticks. <coughs> Boris squealed excitedly. Then I can go and play with Horace. <coughs> sticks? Is, uh, is that wise? Asked Percy. <coughs> it's perfect, Boris said. And with a stack, stack, stack and a tra la la la, Boris built a house of sticks. All afternoon, Horace and Boris laughed and danced. They had quite forgotten their mother's warning. But Percy plodded on. I want my house to be safe and strong, he thought. Then he came to a brickyard. This is just what I need, he said. So day after day, Percy worked with a rumbly bump and a tip, tip, tap and a heave, heave, ho, until at last... The brick house stood tall and proud. The summer passed. Then one day Horace was taking a lovely bubbly bath in his straw house when he heard something growling. He peeped out of the window and saw two big beady eyes. By my snout, cried Horace, it's the big bad wolf. Little poo. Little pig, let me in, bellowed the wolf. No, 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 not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin, yelled Horace. Ha, 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 then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, cried the wolf. And he huffed and he puffed and whoosh, Horace's house blew down, down, down. Horace yelped and scurried all the way to Boris's house of sticks. Look out! He cried, diving behind the sofa. There in the window were big, beady eyes and sharp, pointy claws. It's the big, bad, bad wolf, buttered Boris chattered. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, roared the wolf. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins, trembled Boris. <laughs> then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And so the wolf huffed and he puffed and crash. Boris's house clattered down, down, down. <gasps> Horace and Boris squealed and galloped all the way to Percy's house of bricks. Look out, 
they shouted, and Percy saw big, beady eyes, sharp, pointy claws, and truly terrible teeth. It's a big, bad wolf, he cried. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, howled the wolf. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins, shouted Percy. <laughs> then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. And so the wolf huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed. But Percy's brick house stayed up, up, up. Oh, he's getting a bit tired. And the big bad wolf could not believe his whiskers. I'm the big bad wolf, he howled. No tasty little pigs ever get away from me. Oh, help, shivered Horace. He's on the roof. What should we do? Asked Boris. Quick, I have an idea whispered Percy. Yum, yum, yum. Here I come, laughed the wolf, and he slid down the chimney, right into a giant pot of boiling water. Ho! screamed the wolf, burning his bottom. Then he leapt up from the pot and ran away as fast as he could. After that, the three little pigs never saw the wolf again, and with help from Percy, they built one big, strong house where they could all live together. Oh, look, the house has got a slide and a drawbridge along the top and a straw top on there. Oh, wow, what a lovely looking house. Oh. I wonder what your house would look like if you could build any house you wanted. I would definitely have a slide to get out of my house. That's such a super story. Have a little talk about that story today. See what you can remember from the story. Maybe try and act out the story with some of your toys. Or if you look in your home bag, I sent you home with some lollipop sticks. And that was so that you could make some lollipop stick puppets of the three little pigs and the big bad wolf.